Hello guys, greetings, how you doing? Welcome to Vinel TV. If you like what I'm about, please hit the subscribe button. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. Welcome to Vinel TV. A lot of people uh, have been asking me how you can act, um, how to do a photocopy from your um, printer or from your laptop or how you can scan your document. So I just thought to show you how you can actually scan your document. So before my printer is Canon, right? So to scan your document, what you need to do is, first of all, you need to put a printer on, right? So once the printer is on, a yellow, a yellow, a yellow light will be on showing that the printer is on but also you can connect this to wi-fi when you connect it to wi-fi it will be showing blue color so to scan your document what you need to do is pre the printer and the next thing you do either you want a color or black so in this case i'm doing the color but also you need to have a document in uh, a4 paper underneath here okay so when you put a4 paper then you press the color once once you press the color it will go in and the document will, will come through so I just want to show you how you can actually scan your document okay so here is this is the document to scan I mean we did a photocopy the original one is here okay but in this case the next thing we need to do is to now to scan this document right in here to your laptop okay so to do that what we need to do is you need to download the software for this printer in this case I'm using Canon Proxima so download the software for this printer into your laptop so once you download that then you need to uh, make sure that it is on your desktop on your laptop so you need to then to connect it you can connect it as a wi-fi through wi-fi or you connect it with usb cable in this case i've connected the printer with usb cable this is the cable so to connect it to the printer, you need to go to show you. You need to go to this spot here and connect it and put it in. It's now it's connected. The USB cable for this printer has been connected to the laptop. The next thing we need to do is look for Canon quick menu once you download the software for this print printer into your computer it will show up make sure it it is on your desktop so go to your desktop and check the Canon quick menu and click so when you click Canon quick menu now the menu will come to your desktop then you go into the the next way to go into start my image garden click my image garden right this is how to scan the document so i'm just showing you how to step by step the first thing is you need to do is download the software for this printer in this case canon proxima into your computer then i save it on your desktop once you on your desktop the next thing to do is to scan the document you need to go to my image garden canon image garden once you go to canon image garden it will show you the first thing to it will show you guide menu the first one is print organize file scan premium contents so remember what we want to do now is to scan a document so i will show you right once 
the menu is visible then first you can see photo print photo layout college card calendar sticker disc label layout calendar early event now we, are, we want to scan a document so we go to scan okay click scan button this is what you need to do click scan if you click it once if it doesn't change it try and click it again twice and wait okay once you click scan the next thing to show i will show you but in this case we, we, we just want to make sure that it is working so we want to scan a document now it has changed to canon image garden what we want to do is to scan documents okay it said that exclude incorrect image okay now these are the documents that i have scanned before so but today we want to scan a new document this document that is inside here is what we want to scan so we want to scan this document to your computer so the next thing to do is once the document is here and is connected you need to the first one is author it will show you author photo and document pdf document custom stitch and drive so what we want to do is what you want to do is scan pdf document scan once you click pdf document it will start to scan okay because you have selected pdf document click it to pdf document the next thing to do is is it will generate to scan the document now it's showing that scanning is warming up do you do you do not open the document until scan is complete so it's scan now this is how to scan your document so remember pdf document is what you need to do and if you want to exist if you want to exist you click exit if you want to scan another document then you put for instance you want to scan another document you take this one off right and put another document so that will be two documents then what else you need to do is to scan again it will scan it will scan the document So it will be two documents scanned together. You can actually keep on doing this. Even if you want to scan 10 documents, you need to be, keep on adding. So once you, you take this one off and put another document and scan again. If you, once you finish to scan that document, what you need to do is to exit. You click exit. So once you click the exit, your document will show up. It will show up on your screen as a PDF document scan and it will show you the number so today we scan two document is there it just highlighted this is the document we scan this is the document yes this is the two documents the first one and the second one you can see the document you scan now is one and two so this is one and two document we stand okay now if you want to email this file to your email or save it you need to click file and the next one to do save remember click file and to save so it will, sh it will show you image number and PDF multiple page and then you go and to find where you want to save this so in this case I want to save it on the pictures okay then you click pictures okay press okay now that's what I want to do 
so that I can remember this file easily is just maybe put photo no or let's say put put document document to there and save it document to there save it it's not saving so i thought to show you how you can actually scan your document from the canon printer to your computer so this document is not on the computer okay so if you want to attach this document to your email i will also show you how you can attach this document to your email once it's saved you see it's saving once it is saved then the next thing for us to do is come out from this canon my image garden and go to your email address now it's completely saved now we need to close the canon image garden close it completely and uh, go to and go to your email address okay once you go to your email address this is taking a, a bit of time to close or or go to your email address in this case i go to email address and uh, what you need to do is to attach the document by creating a new email address now that has closed it took a while before it closed so to create a new email address you just need to press if you are using yahoo or hotmail just new email which is will show you plus button you click plus button it will show you to new email then you go to insert if you go to insert then file once you go to the file it will open up the organize quick access desktop document picture download creative file so in this case we store this document on on the picture tile so enter that picture right then on the the next thing to do search pictures remember we save this with document document to there we save this with document doc to there that's the document we save doc doc to there so it's the pdf it's showing you pdf image 201906230001 document to there this is how you can scan it so you click enter so and open once it's open the document will show here the attachment is here so that attachment now is in your computer i mean your email address so if you want to send it to your employer to any person the next thing to do is just type the person email address and write whatever you want to write and send so guys i thought to show you how you can actually scan your document from canon printer to your laptop so this document we scan is here so to open this document you just need to click it twice it will open so now this document is in your email address so guys i just thought to show you how you can actually now this the document is opening remember this is the document we scan right it will show on your computer Here we go. That's the document we scan, guys. 
remember it's, it's two page this is the first page okay this is the second one so I thought to show you you know basically how you can scan these documents in any document you got just put it here but also you need to make sure that it's connected with the USB cable to your laptop right or you can actually connect this through Wi-Fi once you connected it you know make sure that you download the software for Canon Prisma to your computer and click that software it will show you the image garden from image garden then it will show you the option how to scan click the scan from there you see the PDF click the PDF and scan once you scan that you can actually add another document to scan again once you want to finish you end, end scan you click end scan and make sure that you save your document on with a word that you able to remember one and close that uh, Canon image garden profile close it then go to your email address and attach the document so guys I thought to show you basically how you can scan your document on your computer if you are new to this channel if you're happy with what I just show you please consider subscribing this is educative platform just a way to show you because a lot of people have actually asked me how do you manage to scan your document on your, on your computer you know it just instead of it save you time going to cyber cafe for someone else to do this for you it's just something you can actually do you know by having some of this stuff at home like printer and the pc you know you can actually scan them and do uh and scan the document by yourself okay in that case it makes your document more safe and secure thank you very much if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider subscribing thank you very much and god bless you bye bye for now